cows um, to feed their horses or themselves so that they didn't have to beg or pay for it at the tavern across the street. So it did provide water for the town. That's why it's called the Pump House. It was built around 1772. Um, it used to be three row houses. So there were three as they renovated the Corbett Sharp house next door. Mr. Sharp tore down one of the row houses and created space for his servants. So his gardener, his valet, his chauffeur, they were all housed in this area. So I like to think that there was some crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a good house. Um, yeah, so today they've renovated, as you'll see in the kitchen. The kitchen is more modern with appliances and things that most people today would expect. Um, but we do work to maintain the historic integrity of the house. So having the privilege of living here, um, we do try to maintain um, the historic nature of the home. So I can't paint it like lime was in pink. Uh, you know, I can't do that. Um, and the Verizon guy has trouble putting wires up sometimes with concrete walls and they don't like wires down the side of the building because it's historic. So you learn all these little nuances yeah. that you wouldn't think of 300 years ago when you want your your internet service up and running, so <laughs> we do try to do that. Um, 